Hey insiders, Connor here. We're gonna be talking about verification badges today. Now, before we get into it, I need you to cast your mind back what feels like about 500 years to 2019. In 2019, we announced we were gonna change things up in terms of applying for a verification badge. Now, today we wanna to touch on what the new update is and what criteria we're gonna be using to get that verification badge to you. So, let's do it. All right, you are probably wondering what is the number of subscribers that I need in order to be eligible for the verification badge? Well, it's 100,000 subscribers. Huge milestone for each and every creator that gets that far. And I hear you asking, well, is that the only thing I need to do? No. What you're gonna to need to do is once you hit that threshold of 100,000 subscribers, you're gonna to need to go to a form. And that form will be in the description below. And you're gonna to need to fill that out. Sounds simple enough, right? Wrong. That's right, it does get a little bit more complicated, but you have us on Creator Insider to explain all of these details to you. Let's talk about the two additional factors our teams will be looking at when they're reviewing your verification badge application. The first thing is your channel needs to be authentic. Your channel needs to represent the creator brand that has been producing all of this great content for so long. We might ask for additional documentation or information to verify that it's really you. Secondly, we need it to be a complete channel. So what we mean by that is it has to be public, it has to have a description, it has to have an icon, and it has to have content. So really make sure that if you're applying for this verification badge, it's a complete picture when it comes to the channel. All right, now you have those three criteria met, and that's it. You get your verification badge. And I hear you ask, Connor, I have worked to ensure my channel is complete. I have worked to ensure you know it's me, that it is authentic. I have reached 100,000 subscribers and now you're giving me a verification badge. What does it do for me? Well, the answer is nothing. It really does nothing. Not quite true. They do provide value. Though it's just a visual indicator, it's going to help people who are trying to search for the authentic creator on the platform. So it's gonna help with verification that the channel is actually that of a public figure, an artist, a brand, or one of the fabulous creators that brings the two billion users to the platform who represent YouTube's audience. What's important to note is that this does not represent an award. It doesn't provide you with extra product features. There's really nothing else that you get other than the badge itself. Now, when it comes to the awards you're eligible for as a creator who's growing on the platform, we will put a link in the description box below with information about those awards and how the process of awarding works. Ready for a little bit more small print? Well, two things to note. These things aren't forever for two reasons. Two scenarios, are you ready for them? Number one, if a verified channel is found to be impersonating another creator or a brand, that badge can be taken back. In addition, if you decide to change the name of your channel, the verification badge doesn't automatically travel to the new name. So you do need to reapply. So play by the rules, think twice about changing your name, and you and that verification badge are gonna have a beautiful relationship. And I hear you ask, what are the instances where YouTube might make an exception and give a verified badge to a channel that was below 100,000 subscribers? Well, one instance where we might make an exception is if it's a well-known figure outside the world of YouTube who's joined the platform and a verification badge may be warranted in those cases. And one thing you may have been wondering is, will a community guidelines violation get rid of that verification badge? So if in the unlikely event you screw up and you're in violation of the community guidelines and you have a strike or your video is removed, will that result in the verification badge disappearing? Well, the answer to that is no. 
The two reasons are those that I've outlined. You impersonate someone else or their brand, or you change your channel name. Those are the two reasons. All right, insiders, that's it. As ever, you leave those questions in the comments below, and we will get back to you either in future news flashes or in other uploads. We really wanna hear what you have to say about this process, whether it seems logical to you, whether there's any changes we could make to it to make it a bit easier. Uh, but there you have it, how to get yourself a verification badge. We're gonna be watching for all of those channels that are trying to make it on the platform to reach those 100,000 subscribers. And yes, you know it, Creator Insider is the channel for you to come to to get the best hints and tips to hit your target. Bye for now.